a veteran climber doing what he loved most. Uli Steck was known as a Swiss machine for his rapid pace and his speed records. The 40-year-old was aiming to climb both Mount Everest and neighboring Mount Lotse in May. He posted video online of his preparations. Nobody has done that before, so I think the chance is there that it's possible, but I don't know. The original Hornbein route has never been repeated since 1963. Nobody uh, was successful to, to repeat that route. It means this is already quite a challenge. Steck had been acclimatizing to the high altitudes on the world's highest point. <laughs> I am peak again. Pretty cool. Good training. He was reportedly climbing alone when he lost his footing. He was used to climbing along difficult routes, but the one he was taking was not a risky path. I think he must have been careless for a moment, thinking it was a very easy route. I heard he slipped and fell a thousand meters. The mountaineer's body was brought back to the capital Kathmandu. Steck had climbed Mount Everest in 2012 without using an oxygen cylinder. A year later, his group had to abandon another ascent after getting attacked by local Sherpa guides. And in 2016, he stumbled across the bodies of two US climbers who'd been missing for 16 years. As he prepared for his latest ascent, he talked about the challenges. To be not successful is just if you have, if you have an accident or you're gonna die. That's definitely not successful. Those who knew him say that's not how he will be remembered and have called it a truly tragic day for mountaineering. Oliver Whitfield-Mircic, TRT World.